Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Rivals, the 31st game of my NASCAR game collection. <laughs> I'm still missing like 14 of them. Um, and before I got that game, I had 30. And this is like the opening updates or whatever for the game. I think this includes the mirror, maybe other stuff since the release. I don't know. I'm waiting for it to finish. We got some Uno on the side of the screen. I didn't play that. I think my girlfriend did. Ew. Ew. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. It's an interesting uh, animation for the game's logo. Welcome, JC. To get started, let's set up your NASCAR Rivals player profile. I'm just going to take the audio out of the actual game footage and leave it to the freaking face cam. Because this stuff is copyrighted. I will take a look at the soundtrack though, because no one else does that. Automatic transmission, because I don't really care that much. The brake smoothing, don't even have that on. Have the position and name. I'm gonna have them cockpit wheel. Uh, disable the rivals in career mode. No, don't do not do that. I want rivals in the career mode. Except I'm not even gonna be playing it, because I'll probably do like, I don't know, 10 years from now, whenever I feel like looking at the novelty of it. Uh, we'll have 105 maximum difficulty. Get that full damage. DNFs. I want to have them on because we're going to have tire failures and just touch something and we all explode and die. We'll have all flags on. And you know, we'll do all the stage racing. Why is that turned off by default? This is weird. And then we got all these qualifying settings. Wait, you can change stuff for outside the game modes right here? So, yeah, that's that. And then the driving. Yeah, I just put it on expert. Super speedways. Have a high, awful draft effect for other tracks. Um, just to set it to low. I don't feel like there's, there's much draft at, at tracks now. And then there's not much dirty air either. AI settings. For the skill range, if I go to like an oval race, I probably want it on wide so that it spreads out. Um, yeah, expanded. And the stability, I'll have that on more stable for them. I want them wrecking all the freaking time. Although they probably should be. Mechanical failures. Yeah, just make that frequent, but give them great recovery skill. Uh, yeah, more skill. Yeah, give them all that, but then their cars will freaking fall apart all the damn time. For tire wear effect, I'll have them on normal. Fuel consumption, normal. Uh, impact forces. About impact forces. Determines how much contact with AI affects your car's stability. I want it to be ping pong. I want it to be dangerous. I want this game to, to fuck me up and do shit to me. Draft partners. Uh, yeah, sure. Make them aggressive. And then go back in here. And I want to set this to less wear and more grip. Yeah, I'm just not realizing that's what I usually did was less wear, more grip. But as for race length, for now, I'm going to go ahead and drop this to 4%. So, yeah, all this stuff is going to stay off until I actually go into the season mode, championship mode. Yeah, save and continue. There we go. That's my, my victory music. I already did all that stuff. Um, you know, the controls are probably just the same as usual. Um, audio. You turn off the music. So now I can have the sound for the game on again. And the effects, yeah, I can just stay what it is. The spotter. I don't even know who the spotter is. Do I have different spotter packs? Music credits. There you go. There's the soundtrack. Um, I don't recognize any of these artists. Maybe X Ambassadors. I think they were in a previous game. I could be wrong. Alistair X. I, I think they might have been in, in one of the other Heat games. But man, like... What? They could have mild familiarity. Like when they had Greta Van Fleet in one game. Red Sun Rising in another game. So there's Chase Elliott. I guess they just put him first because he's the most popular driver or something. I don't know. But I pre-ordered 124 scale diecast of that one since he won the regular season championship. I want to drive as the best paint scheme in the whole freaking season to start this video. Uh, yeah, there it is. Eric Jones Focus Factor car. Oh, he's got the orange numbers up there. You can't miss them. So click accept on that. And a track. I don't want to just race at the same tracks that I always do in these games. Because I already did Coda and Ignition, I'll save that for season mode. Let's go to the Indianapolis Roval. Let's just have total shit. Make it 
slightly loose, which is probably dangerous because these cars love to tip over at road courses in these heat games. This is not a heat game, though. But it's using the same freaking Drivers shit. The what was it. that? Let's head to the yard of bricks and get those engines fired for the Verizon 200 at the brickyard. We got yellow track. Oh, the car is turning right. I didn't tell it to turn right. I'm okay. That was interesting. I can't go anywhere. Oh my god. I didn't I didn't do anything. Fuck you! Attempt. 10 or something. I don't freaking know. This car is too much of a handful to drive. I wish I could just focus on driving the track, but, like, the car can't handle the track. Oh, my God. Even that corner right there, the car wants to, like, lift off the ground and, and fall over or whatever. Weird physics. Bad physics. They never fix the physics. It wasn't even this bad at this track in specific in previous heat games. I had it more with tracks that had hills and stuff, like Sonoma in mid-Ohio. I'm trying to stay on the track. I can't see it because my car is in the way. And then, and all these guys checking out, but I have to find my way around them. You can't gas it up and steer at the same time, because the car will just instantly spin. So I have to, like, play around with it. The sound. Oh my god, the sound is just awful. Like, I can hear all the engines of all the other cars constantly. Not making any sound except for the same pitch. It's, it's weird. So I'm, I'm going to turn to the left. I'm turning to the left because it won't stop turning to the right. I hate it. I hate that it does that. I wish it would just not do that. It's like they brought back something from NASCAR Heat 2. That was awful. When you hit the brakes, the car turns. I'm trying to make up spots. Go. I have to constantly get off the gas and then get back on. It's, it's so tricky. It's, it's, it's annoying. It's not challenging. It's just annoying. A very an annoying driving model for road courses. I don't know where the corner is, but I guess that's fine. I'd be more confident in what I'm doing with the car if, like, I knew where the track was in some places. And I had more control of it, but I don't. I'm trying to find ways past these guys, but, like, once I pass them, it's like they get aggressive and they just force me out of the way. Okay, I made it a lap. Can I make it two laps? Please stop turning to the right. Why does the car turn? Stop turning. Just go straight. Look at that shit. So I am going to hit the wall and, and get killed. Okay. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Like, it's too hard to drive. What is Harrison Burton doing? He's not having a good time either. Man, I just want to finish this race, get a, a decent finish, and then leave. But no, I can't. I can't get a decent finish. I can't pass the cars. I can't drive my own damn car. I'm going... Uh, William Byron, I'm going to use up these S's, I'm going to send it into each one. Ugh. God, the, the shifting and the, the stuttering of the audio is so bad. No, I'm turning left because I can't turn right. It's spinning out. Like You can't steer all the way, but all you have is all the way or not steering at all. Don't cut the track. Fuck you, you stupid game. Why are you making my car cut the track? I didn't even do that. I hate it. I hate this fucking track and I hate this fucking physics engine that doesn't work on road courses and never has. And it's just getting worse because the people that make these games have no idea how to work with this shit. They're all stacked up right over here. I'm catching them. Uh, trying to find a place to go. I have to take a turn and it's an awful turn because it's not tight enough for me to just steer all the way. I can never steer all the way. I have to like steer, steer, click, 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 gas, gas, gas. It's weird shit. I'm going to send it in. Past a couple guys. Dump Todd Gillig because he kept on pissing me off earlier. Let's send it past. Uh, or, no, they could park my car. I can't avoid cutting the track. Like, there's no way to avoid that. They don't let you stop cutting the track. The car just shoots off the fucking track, gets loose. Oh. The, the car keeps fucking doing this all the goddamn time. It's shit. I... I won out of this freaking track. I want to race on just a normal freaking track where the car doesn't do stupid crap all the time. Homestead, Miami? Yeah, I want to go to Homestead. There is someone parked on the fucking racetrack. I turned off cautions so that we could just race. William Byron is a goddamn terrorist over there. Look at him go. He just killed Austin Cindric. I mean, well, that killed my race. And I can't keep up with anybody more, so I'm going to just freaking restart. 
So I guess I'll put that in the video, but I'm going to put the rise of the attempt in. Look at the texture of this track, though. Look look at the detail to the pavement. That was not there previously in NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition Plus. It might have been Heat 4, and I don't remember. But we never had a race in this setting like this, this daytime setting. Is this even what they're going to do? Race at Homestead during the day in a few weeks? Or is it going to be a night race, like usual? I don't freaking know. How would you take away your night race at Homestead? Obviously, I don't have the stage racing on, but it, usually whenever there's no stage racing on, it just defaults to the final setting, the, the nighttime. I am pushing Laurie Hesmans into the top 30. He's going to be running every race in this game, by the way. Not just like Daytona 500. I'm working my way forward. I'm going to go... Nowhere. I, I have nowhere to go. Like They're taking up the whole freaking track. One guy at the bottom in the straightaway, one guy in the middle, one at the top. This car is not hard to drive. It's supposed to be hard to drive. Why is it so hard to drive on the road courses whenever they're so flat and, and wide now? Wide tires, mechanical grip, but no, I can't use that on road courses. At ovals, it, nothing. It's easy as shit to drive. It was easier to drive than any of the damn Gen 6 cars at, at this track. Heat 2, Heat 3, Heat 4. Heat Evolution wasn't really that hard to drive at all until you started wrecking. But this, I mean, goddamn, I ain't got no assists on, and I'm just hanging out down the street. Still there. Looking inside. I, I want to go around Truex. I should have just gone underneath him. Got Briscoe behind me in his Mahindra car. I'm trying to look at it. Yeah, that one. I want to drive that car. I should drive that in the next race. I don't know what the next race is going to be. So we're on lap six. We're coming to five to go. We're not going to get to the lead, although it would be nice if I could. William Byron is leading this right now. He was leading the race... I did it this track on the other Switch NASCAR game. Handful of laps to go. You know, the terrible experience that I had driving Eric Jones' car at Indianapolis Road Course. Dude, I don't know what the name of the track is called. But that makes me concerned for what it's going to be like to drive that track in the previous NASCAR game on the Switch. We're about to climb our way into 7th. And I'm still bouncing off the apron. It didn't really actually kill my momentum that much. So that's nice. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get to William Byron and the rest of the leaders. Unless they just freaking wreck. I might have the time to get to 6th, but I'll be 7th at best. Damn. All right, I need two more good ones right here. Uh, well, I mean, he, he's doing a good job. We have a good spotter right here. Very detailed stuff. He talks fast and he talks a lot until he has nothing to talk about, which is right now. Just a little line here and there. It's weird. It, it is this odd mixture of ignition and heat. Still there. You got Brad Kozlowski in his Chrome 6, except the 6 is not Chrome. It's just like a a cartoony thing. I'm trying to catch that guy for seventh, but he's all the way over there and we're already on the last lap. Kyle Larson's in the lead. We're having a battle for the lead on the last lap. Is that Kurt Busch? That looks like Kurt Busch. It is Kurt Busch. And we're faster than him, but just not much. It's taking us forever to get to him. Yeah, if I did long races, uh, we have a pretty awesome... 100% length race here at Homestead. Well, what if racing? He does 100% races, so that's coming up in a few weeks. Y'all go watch his stream at Homestead. 100% race on NASCAR Rivals in like two weeks or whatever. Well, I did say that I wanted to drive Chase Briscoe's Mahindra car. There it is. Beautiful thing. I pre-ordered a diecast of his Phoenix win, even though I hate this guy. He's such a freaking dork. Let's go to Gateway. That's one of the new tracks in the Cup Series. So, same shop as usual. Chase Briscoe's car. 
Alex Hayden presentation. With 2022 being the inaugural event for the Cup Series, it looks like these drivers and teams are ready to fire them up. Let's go racing. Daniel Suarez, Kurt Busch, Chris Buescher, failing inspections and getting engine changes and whatever. That's a really nice paint scheme for Chris Buescher. See, now, those, those rims, they look great like that, but that animation doesn't look the same on those rims once you're actually getting up full speed. All right, so, yeah, this track looks awesome. There's probably already been video of people trying out this track in this game because it's one of the new ones, but it hasn't actually new to the, the NASCAR Heat Series. But obviously, this is, this is not Heat Series anymore. This is just NASCAR Rivals. I can't consider this one of the freaking NASCAR Heat games because it's also so very far def ow, deprived from what Monster Games put together with 704 games. Uh, they're they're kind of stacking up. Now I'm trying to figure this car out. I like that the car is shiny. That is something cars in Ignition were not. Why is Biffle grinding against the wall? I don't know like how to enter the corners because I'm still afraid from what I experienced at Indianapolis Road Course that this car is just going to snap on me. But it's not doing that, so maybe I should actually try taking the corner properly. Oh man, the brakes work. There's that. I don't know if they actually made it so the brakes work better in this game because they do in reality or if that was an accident. Why are the lines on the, the back window of my car going over the name? That's not... No. That's not what it's supposed to do. The name is to go over everything. Then that means that the sticker was underneath like the actual design of the car somehow. It's just weird stuff. It's a 10-lap race we got here. It's tight. I mean, it's the full setup is, is tight. Um, the game has me scarred with Indianapolis Road Course that I don't know if the cars can do what I want. Also, we got five gears now. Yeah, don't forget that, the five gears thing. I mean, we're faster than a lot of guys in the field, but we're probably just going to wind out finishing just where we did a homestead, somewhere around there. It's a matter of what I can do with my time. I'm trying to adapt to the way this thing handles. Yeah, it is not snapping out from underneath me. The track isn't entirely flat, but like... Why couldn't the car handle like this at Indianapolis Road Course? I don't feel like there's that much difference. This thing could have been that smooth there, but it's like it wasn't. Yeah, someone's grinding up against the wall, just like Kurt Busch was a while ago. So I'm clear down low. I mean, I've been clear down low since I entered the corner. You know, we're getting a big run. We're making our way through the field. I hate that we only have one paint scheme for every damn driver. When we get in DLC for this game, I'm buying the DLC because I want paint schemes. I want to drive different paint schemes. But if you don't put it out until like the last damn second, and then suddenly I've already done half a season. I'm trying to pass Almondinger. And I have to send it in on him because like there's so much brake lock up and the car just parks it whenever I try actually slowing down for a corner. And it's hard to get the angle right. Whenever I want to pass him on, I just can't do it. So we got to make them short track moves. Kyle Larson is leading again. It's weird. I mean, I think Joey Logano won the race I did at Indianapolis Road Course. We are not going to get anything out of this race. It's spread out so fucking much that I would have to have like a, a ginormous 50 lap run to actually do something. I'm not even in the top 20 right now. For some reason, Chase Elliott's 20th. I'm trying to get to him. Tried getting some grip on the, the curb right there, but no, I just bounced off of it. The curb. The rumble strip. It's got so many different names. I put a rumble strip in one of my thumbnails earlier this week for NASCAR 06. I didn't want this weird cockeyed line in that thumbnail for NASCAR 06. But then all the cars go racing by. See, those sounds of the cars make sense. But when you're in traffic, it glitches out, and then it's just this, like, same sound, and it just keeps going and going and going, and it's awful. See? There it is. It's awful, and I hate it. Yeah, Kyle Larson dominated the race. 
Brad Keselowski's Chrome 6 paint scheme that apparently he designed himself. He said he designs these paint schemes. I didn't know he was nifty with Photoshop or freaking whatever. I don't, I don't know how he does it, but it's good. Um, let's race at Pocono. That's my favorite track. And it says Eminem's fan appreciation, even though they are leaving us. What, you full of sack? What? What did he say? I don't know. He said something about my sack. I don't know. Okay, so Pocono looks nice. Until you look at the horizon and there's like weird silhouettes. Oh my god, I've had enough of the silhouettes. It'll be fine when we actually get there, but... See, now, see how this... That, this is nice. Pocono looks really nice, but out in the distance... Always with the silhouettes. I wish they would just have them be blurry. Make this the stuff that can't load in because of draw distance just be blurry until you get there. I don't know, just do what they did with like the NASCAR Thunder games or something, you know? Have them not pop up until they're like actually within visual distance. So this is how Pocono drives. Well, this default setup. And I am climbing to the field. Everyone at the back is slow. Man, I got the potential to finish top 10. I mean, if you see that lead pack of cars, they're the only ones driving away. I am grinding out this grass. I like how there's a completely different texture down below that white line over there. It's weird. I love how much more detail there is. I really do. Um, it drives smoothly on the ovals and stuff, but, but the road course is on. I feel like it just got worse. I was okay at Sonoma on NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition Plus recently. But at Indianapolis Road Course, man, I, I was so on edge and I would constantly be over the edge. Going into lap three here. Okay, we got to shift in the middle of the straightaway. I mean, it's supposed to do that, but man, that was strange. I have the speed to pass all these cars. But I don't think I have the laps. Also, I'm tight. I am, I am tight. And I'm stuck on the top, so I guess I'm making moves on the top. I can't do this forever. Oh, look at us go. Come on, get clear. Go to the inside. The stupid fucking shift. Fuck this f five gears, the way they set it up. Why can't it be in fifth, like off the corner? I don't know. If there's, there's more horsepower or something, like that shift had to happen whenever I was changing lanes. Really bad. Really dangerous. Ow! So the car is so damn stable in the straightaway that even though it shifted while I was steering, the car didn't spin out. But oh my god, you just touch the throttle in the middle of the corner at a road course and the thing just flips out. Okay, so we're getting a good finish out of this race. As we move up into 14th. So, we've caught these guys. Damn, I can't pass this freaking track now. Like, it was more easy to pass cars before. Now it's like, I'm faster than some of them, but whenever I get to them, I just stall out because I don't have the whole track. Well, how come my shifts are ass and theirs are not? What the shit, dude? Some bull crap. They didn't account for AI having shifts. I cannot pass fucking Austin here. I'm about to put you in the wall because I'm tired of fucking pass your ass. You steal my goddamn ride and put it in the Daytona 500. I was supposed to be 14th. I was already 14th. Instead, I can't handle traffic with this goddamn car. It's tight. It was fine in when we started the race, but now I'm with the fast guys. I ain't got any more card to steer with. Didn't that wall, like, stick out or something? I, I thought it used to. Okay. I'm trying to make up, like, a few more spots in this last corner. Ugh. There we go. Okay, 13th. I didn't win anything. Can't win anything. The race ain't long enough. Um, I got, like, one top 10. Yeah, yeah, 13th is not too bad. I mean, I'd say that's good for Keselowski with how his season is actually gone. 101 speed rating. There's no championship mode. Again, with this stupid bullshit of just not putting one in the game. It was already in the game. They took it out of the game. So... The only one that we get is NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition Plus. I can't do a championship mode in this game. I have one planned out. Pick my driver, do the season. I can't do it. It's not in the game. It does not take 
effort for that to be there. This has been in every goddamn game since NASCAR racing in 1994. Then suddenly Ignition comes out and they just can't have one? We can't have one. Why not? I'm pissed. I'm sick of this shit. Stop taking championship mode out the fucking game. God damn it, I hate this crap. It pisses me off. It's the one thing I want to do in every fucking game and I can't do it. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.